pensioners are urged to refrain once again from flocking the post offices amid the COVID-19 outbreak. This call has been made by the Minister of Public Telecommunications, the Honorable Catherine Hughes, who is also encouraging the utilization of other available options for safely obtaining those pensions. I'd like to take this opportunity to remind pensioners, and most importantly their family, that pensions are paid any day of the entire month. So we were trying to warn people, don't everybody come on the first day. Don't come on the first two days. And most importantly, too, pensions can be paid from any post office. Minister Hughes gave the reminder as scores of pensioners gathered this morning at the border post office to receive their monies. With the novel coronavirus wrong, such gather could spell chaos. The minister explained that there was a delay with the transfer of funds by the security personnel that led to the large crowd. We then had a backup of persons here and uh, the challenge has been um, ensuring that the pensioners that are lining up are maintaining a safe distance. I'm happy and I want to thank the Ghana Police Force because they did send out some additional persons that helped the staff to keep that safe distance and um, and to uh, we had to con continuously inform the pensioners of how important it is not to be too close to each other. The minister also reminded that relatives of the pensioners can also collect the monies on their behalf once authorization is given. She is also urging that they use the closest post office to their home. Nevertheless, the measures are in place at all post office to slow the spread of COVID-19 and the border post office is no different. Senior Postmaster Sharon Haynes explains. We have the markings of not more than six persons in the office at one time. The markings are there. Um, we have persons standing at the door to have them sanitized before they go into the office. Isaiah Brophitt for InfoHub. Also note that the COVID-19 virus is spread primarily through droplets of saliva or discharges from the nose when an infected person coughs or sneezes. So it is necessary to practice respiratory etiquette. According to the World Health Organization, there is no specific vaccine or treatment as yet for COVID-19. However, there are many ongoing clinical trials evaluating potential treatments. The WHO will continue to provide updated information as soon as clinical findings become available.